My part in this 3B project is to grow um, and to cultivate green and red seaweeds that are native here to the Swedish West Coast and to provide our project partners with, with the biomass they need to then continue their research and to do, the, to do their part in, in the project. It's a five-year project uh, funded by the Strategic Research Foundation and we are cultivating some species of, of red and green seaweeds. And it's, uh, we do the cultivation here at the University of Gothenburg at Tjärnö uh, and we collaborate with partners at the two te technological universities at Chalmers and at uh, KTH in Stockholm. We are uh, trying to develop new biomass that can be used for, for um, different purposes to extract different useful components uh, to produce both uh, green plastics, bioplastics, uh, but also other useful compounds that can be used in, in food industry and, and for other applications. The, the difficulties is that we deal with, uh, with species that are native to the Swedish West Coast and the protocols that are currently available in the literature are mainly from, um, from research done in, in China and in, in other Asian countries. So we need to be able to optimize these protocols and adjust them to Swedish conditions and that comes with its own set of difficulties in itself. Seaweeds have never been cultivated in Sweden uh, in this way or at this scale that we are doing here. Uh, so our, our purpose here is to develop these cultivation techniques and to produce a biomass that is useful for the other purposes in the project. When it comes to the green seaweeds we're definitely successful and we're very we're delighted with the results um, we have achieved so far. Uh, the red seaweeds with their complicated life cycle they come with their own sets of challenges so we're continuing to work on that uh, but we're very hopeful and we're very optimistic that we will succeed um, with growing them in the future.